Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the God. We are the Breakfast Club. Usually we do the rumors right now, but we got a special guest on the line this morning. We have Karen Civil here. Good morning. KC. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So, you know, we had Jason Lee up here. I mean, he, he said, you know, he said the same things he's been saying. So, you know, we got to mm-hmm. we got to give you the, the opportunity to rebut. I didn't fully get to, like, listen to what Jason said, but I know if it's pretty much the, kind of the same thing. To me, it's like it, it was my understanding. Jason and I resolved our issues a few years ago. You know, we spoke about it. I thought we moved past it. We saw each other at an event. You know, we spoke a little bit more there. We remain cordial. We text each other afterwards, like events he may have going on or some news tidbits I would need to send to him. So it's like all of this being rehashed in the public, like, like forum, you know, where to me, where it was like we had private resolution that existed for quite some time. Now it's to a point it's just like it's just a little strange to me. So I don't know. I, I I don't know what exactly like the idea is, or the like desired result here. I just really don't know. Now he also said that uh, you reached out to him with uh, Nicki Minaj on the phone line. Was 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 that true? I no, I don't, don't think he said. I don't think he said that. He said he said Nicki reached out. Nicki tried to reach out to him. And he said only with Karen. He won't. He would only do it with. Yeah, Karen he would only talk phone. if it's you ain't if, if it's Karen and Nikki. That's what he said. Yeah, I mean, but I don't understand what he needs us to talk at the same time. And I'm a, I'm gonna be transparent. I think like one doesn't have to do with the other. I know he he wanted her on her, on his show for a while now, but I don't understand what it had to, what it pretty much had to do with me. So you're saying you it had know, nothing like, to do with you? Know. It had nothing to do with you? It had he was trying to get her on the show? Oh yeah, there was a point that he, the few people that I did work with, he wanted to have them on the show. But it's like at this point, it's like the whole situation is exhausting because it was such a private matter that I thought we put to rest. And now it's like we experience in the public light. And it's like, you know, I don't know if it's because you know, this opening in like the news cycle itself. But like me and Jason were texting up since like 2019. So I don't know. I, I, I don't know the, the, like, honestly, the premise behind it. But he can feel the way he feel. I can't tell anyone not to be upset. But we've had our conversations a couple of years ago. We've seen each other. We've talked. And I don't know. It's, it's now in 2021. It's at this place. Are you a, a worried about, the, the you know, Jason Sandy pressing charges? No, I'm not worried about that at all. Because it, it, it's like, at the time, it's like you and I kind of do the same thing. You know, you would, he admitted that he did it to somebody else before, too. I was just watching, like, a video or something about it. Like, you admitted you did that before, too. But I'm not worried about that. That's not something that's necessarily, like, like on my mind. You know, I know he's coming to some place. I don't know. Again, it's like him and I talk. But, again, um, his hurt doesn't, like, hurt doesn't have an expiration date. So he can be hurt all over again from the situation. I don't know. That's very true. Do you do you, do you um do you regret? Because like you said, you know, and he admitted to it. You know, people people have gotten people's pages taken down before. Do you do you regret admitting to that? Yeah, I definitely do because I I didn't I didn't add the full context of it. You know, it was like I wanted something to come down, but it never went. I don't believe it ever went through. And the you know the person we had in the in. In the middle, to me, was kind of playing both sides and telling him some stuff that was not necessarily true. But in that situation, in the scheme of things, of course I regret it. But we, we, him and I had this conversation. So it's like, you know, when people are like, why won't you address it? Why won't you address it? I'm like, no, I did with the person that is affected. And to me, that's the person who deserved the conversation and everything first. And, and, and Casey, why why did you even go in that clubhouse room? Like, if if it's eight thousand people you know, in there and you know they all want to jump you, why'd you even go in there? So I, you know, I took a page out of, I took a page out of like uh, Kevin Hart's book when they made the room and he went in to have conversation. It was just 
so many different, like when I first walked in, I said, I'm going to do this room, see what they're talking about. But then it just turned into like everybody was an aficionado in something. There was, you know, there were a lot of people who were in there who were respectful, who just wanted to know, like had a question or whatever the case may be. Now I look back at it after I left the room because I'm like, nah, I just want to clear the air. People who got a question for me, let me answer your question. I'm not like ducking from this. But then afterwards, how people pick uh, clips apart and different things, that's when I realized I was like, I should never even took part in that. Word. Well, Casey, yeah. man, we hope that we can, we hope this, all of this gets resolved. You know what I'm saying? I'm sending healing energy to everybody involved in this situation. Cause it just seems so low vibrational. It just seemed like it just seemed like mess. It is. Yeah, it, it, I mean, it 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 definitely it definitely is. It starts with you know it. I don't even like to just call it cancel culture, but with certain things, with one person being mad and a person from five years ago, then six years ago, then then this and that. But the important the important things will work itself out. I know it was a, 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 we started off this Jason thing. As much as, you know, I don't really respond back to him and people would ask me why. It's like, because I'm always with Jason well. Like, him and I had our combo. We moved past it. I thought we were okay. He's expressing his, I don't know, uh, rehashed feelings. I'm not sure. But I'm always wish him well. And uh, it's like, I'm, 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 you know, I'm just in a different space. That's right. That's the point. That's the point I am in my life. I I don't hate nobody. I either love you, wish you well, or hope you heal. Yeah, that's so, it. I'm just in a different space. But thanks, guys. All right, KC. All right. Up next is the People's Choice Mix. Shout the revolt. We'll see you tomorrow. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. 